Talking about the music industry, if there were an opportunity to collaborate with Gunna, would you do it? Mm. Sure. Okay. I mean, do you even know the content? Context behind that question, I guess. Yeah, he, of course, I, I, of course, of, I mean, right. nigga, duh. Well, yeah, well, but well, everyone feels like Gunna told, right? I guess I don't fucking know. He did That's, tell. He kind of told. Listen, listen. I got one it's thing. I got, I got one thing. I got on one video. thing to say to this, and you and you can answer this for yourself, right? Everyone that's on these internet things, like, fuck you, you a rat, you a this, you a bitch, you a that, you a this, right? If in their own personal life, they were facing 50 to 100 fucking years mm. behind an act that they didn't do, and they had to throw away their career, their money, their family, their this. It's a tough one. What the fuck you gonna do? And, and there's some people's watches, you know, I wouldn't snitch for nobody. Okay. I see you in a hundred years, nigga. You know, <laughs> but <laughs> but you know, like, and, and you don't even really know how he snitched. I, I don't even know, like the like. I don't know if he was like he did. I think he just said I didn't do it, which accused. I, I, I don't well, even. What he, what minute, he said. Well, young so, thug still in jail. Yeah, yeah. So and he just uh, got recently denied bond again. So what he said was. YSL, Young Stoner Life, is also viewed as a gang and a record label. So when they asked him in court, he said, Young, uh, YSL is a gang. They say that on records. Yeah, but that's what he said on court, saying like... No, no, but hear me out, though. I'm sure YSL says on songs, we're a gang. We, we're, we're... They literally say everything that... And I'm not just talking about them. It's like, if I started a record company called I Kill People... That's my re I kill niggas records, right? And on the record, I'm like, yo, I kill niggas. I shoot niggas. I be slanging dope. Kill niggas. And then somebody told on me, it was like, yo, he be killing niggas. I'm like, nigga, the record company's called I Kill Niggas, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> does that not make any sense or is that? Uh, no, nah, I get it. The, but the like, only thing about it is that there was an attorney that I was kind of talking about some of the stuff about Young Thug. They said, Young Thug wasn't on any of the audio that they were taking. Yeah. They say, he, so he wasn't attached to that. They, uh, I guess it was some other incident. The other person got accused. It seems like they're just really going after Young Thug for yeah. some strange reason. And they really don't have any information, any evidence, nothing that really says that he is this person. They're just trying to make him that person. I mean, person. listen, he's he's rich and he's successful and I don't know. And he I, makes I, I, other I, and he makes other black people rich and, and successful. And he makes other black people rich, other black people successful. I've heard he's a huge staple in Atlanta, and a lot of times these motherfuckers just be targeting people to make an example. I, I don't. I'm not saying Thug should be behind bars. I hope he gets the fuck out. I don't want to see another black man behind bars. I'm that. just. I'm just saying that Gunna, whatever choice that he made, the people who are shitting on him for making that choice. Put $30 million in your account at the prime of your career and then take all of that away and lock yourself up and say and see what the fuck you would do. I don't know. I wonder if Young Thug still, how does he feel? I, that's what I would be really... We, we, we don't know. There's that's been, what I want to know. There's some been leaked phone calls, but some people are saying it's AI. Nobody knows. He hasn't made no clear statement. The album he released was... It didn't really say much. It has some cookies here and there, but he recorded it before he went to jail. I got a, I got a question I just thought of. I wonder who created the concept of snitching and being a rat. Like, where that whole... The mafia. I did, yeah. I mean, okay. So, the I mean, I assume the mafia, but think just really think about that. Like, the concept of you can do something... And what you do can incriminate me, and I have to face the same penalties as you because you did it. And if I say anything about it or do anything about it, then I am I am worse off than the person who did the shit. Well, you got on. Well, you already know we. I mean, we all from some hood. Yeah, no, for sure. So, and you know, talking to the police is against the rules. Well, no, not talking to the police. I'm talking about anything. You can snitch on someone's bitch. You know what I mean? You can snitch on. I mean, yeah, anything. Talking period is just like, ah, eh, yeah, it's frowned upon. It's just, it just, it just is. It's just. I just be wondering. You like, I'm from, like, I'm from, you know, I have family who have done life in prison. I know right. all that shit. 
I guess what, what I'm doing, I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just more into like the psychology behind these philosophies of how they even started. So I'm just letting you guys know if I get in trouble, I'm snitching. <laughs> Listen, so already, don't do anything you don't already know. Me. Already know. We not we not bring you to that party. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> he is telling. Lord. <laughs> Lord. You gotta know who your friends are. 